hey you guys welcome back to my channel so before i get into this video i want to show you guys my outfit for today i feel like i look so cute so i did get this set at target the top and the bottom is separate in price i believe i'm going to say the price that i think it is right now but of course if i can find my receipt i would make the corrections if i can find it but i believe the top was uh ten dollars and then i believe the bottom was 15. uh of course i got the top as a oversized so i got it uh one size larger than what i am and then my bottoms i got it separately i know this is about hair but I wanted to share that with you guys because I feel like this outfit was so cute and it was so for the season we're in right now. And the color just looked good on the melon. Yes, it does. So, okay, let's get into this video. So, in this video, I want to talk about color. <laughs> so, I want to give my professional opinion about color of things that... Um, just my overall opinion of things that I think that's important when it comes to color. This uh, video to me can be catered to um, a stylist and it can be catered to a customer. It's like combined information. So let's get into it. All right. So what I want to talk about from the stylist point is making sure you have a color book. And I'm going to show you guys my color book. I am I currently uh, buy all my colors through Matrix. Of course, I buy it at my local beauty store, Armstrong and McCall. At this store, you must have your license to be able to purchase any items out of there. So you do have to be a cosmetologist. And of course, they have the books. Now, every time I got the book, the book came with me spending over i want to say like over 100 or 150 i was able to get the book when you go into your licensed um beauty store make sure you ask them like how much uh do i need to spend to get a color book or is it free because some stores they get so many in a bulk that uh, they do give them out for free and some of them do ask you to spend a certain amount of money before they can give you a book and when you are doing color the book is so important because it does have the swatches in there and by having the swatches it just looks more professional for you to show your client like the different colors and um i hope you guys can see that okay that's better so they can see the different colors that you can do and of course it has fashion colors which I consider colors like this fashion colors and then they have your more neutral and natural colors as well. I love the matrix line because the matrix line to me is also conditioning when it comes with color as well so it does the two in one and condition the hair but it also colors the hair as well. That's why I love the Matrix line. This is the permanent book. And this one is the demi permanent book right here. So I want to show you guys this one as well. And of course it does have the swatches. Remember when you are doing color, you want to have something like this. Excuse me. <laughs> when you're doing color, you want to have something like this. Because it gives you that more professional look when you are speaking to your clients so they know. And then also on the back of each other color book, it does give you the information and the details of like the time of how long you should have the color on the hair. It talks about the safety. It talks about the application. And also it gives the, uh, the, the tones that each color comes in the undertones and everything like that and the one by one ratio so it tells you how to measure the color as well and then it gives you the warm and the neutral and the cool tones when it comes to the color so this one is the demi color book this one is the soul color this one also is the uh, permanent color book and it does have the swatches 
it has the swatches in there as well as you guys can see and also on the back of it it has the detail of how you use the color and things like that because even if you are a colorist and you have been doing it for quite some time you always want to have the rule book in your hand because sometimes you can be doing something and you're under the time and the pressure of the client looking at you and you could quickly read over it and you can be educated at that moment in a lightener the lightener that i use is this one this one is the light master by matrix it lifts up to six levels of lift i do love this one i also pair it with the uh let me show you guys if i have them give me just one moment okay i'm back so i also have the four uh lift and tones and I do add this in when I am doing my uh, my color. I do add in the lift and tones. This one is the uh, cool. I believe this one's the extra cool and the warm tone. And these two are the the natural tone and the cool tone. And what I love that Matrix have these when it comes to the lightener is because this actually lifts and tone the hair. So when you are doing like a demi color on top of your lift and with the demi color, it will fade out naturally. But due to the fact you did a lift and tone, it doesn't have that ashy look. It actually has the tone so it kills out the unwanted color in the lift so that's what I love about the matrix line is because it does have these four lift and tone so I always add that when I am doing someone color that's probably about cool. the cream developers the highest level I usually go up to is 30 but of course I uh, have a 10 through uh, 30 so of course you the ideal is always to get someone that is a uh, completely natural and has not had any type of chemical to their hair that is just like the perfect person to do color on especially if their hair is healthy then that is the perfect person to do color on then you can be more experiment with it of course if you have someone that had their hair previously colored before and when I say previously colored it doesn't have to be highlighted it could be something like maybe they had uh, a demi color on it that was like black or um, a dark brown anything of that sort that the cuticles was lifted to uh, deposit in the color then that is not a hundred percent natural then their hair was already previously tampered with when it comes to a chemical so then you got to play around with it more so then I would suggest a lower cream with that uh, which is a developer a lower developer somewhere around 10 or 20 I wouldn't go any higher than 20 but with that one you always want to do a strand test no matter who it is do a strand test so you can have more control of the service and you know exactly what level you can lift to without damaging the hair this because information that i'm about to give now i do believe this is definitely of course a stylist and a customer thing but you always want to do a consultation whenever you are dealing with a color service make sure you do a consultation within that consultation you guys can talk about the health of your scalp you can talk about the health of your hair you can make a decision on where you want to lift your hair to what color you want to get to how can you achieve that color do you have to do multiple services to get to that color also is your hair healthy enough to get to the color that you're interested in a uh, consultation is so important all these things that i named is important to achieve that within the consultation so please do not skip that part to me that is the most important part other than the health of your hair 
is to have the consultation so you and the stylist can be under one accord and so you know exactly what is about to be done and so the stylist know exactly what you want and you both can come to agreement and make the best decision right, the next thing and you want to make sure you do a ct test which is a chemical test you want to make sure that you are not allergic to the chemical a ct test is where you take the actual uh color and the developer and you apply it to the back of your ear you can apply it in between your uh your arm in the middle of your arm you and i think that's the only two places that you can apply it but in that area it will be there for four up to 48 hours i always apply it to the back of my client ear because in this uh time i ask them please do not touch it please do not wash it off please do not do anything to irritate it within this time i want to know are you allergic to it is some of the things you want to look out for when it comes to if you are allergic to this is redness irritation itchiness swelling those are the things you want to look out for and if that is something you do feel then you know right away hey when it comes to the color or the developer you're using I'm currently allergic to that, so I can't go through with the color service. Make sure your hair is healthy. Yes, and I believe this is the last thing I want to talk about. You want to make sure your hair is healthy for the service. It's important to have healthy hair before you go into any chemical service. It's important to have healthy hair coming out of the chemical service and by that you want to go this is where your consultation comes into effect but you want to go speak to the stylist that will be doing your color you want them to examine your hair to make sure your hair is completely healthy if your hair is not healthy then the next steps will be to get your hair to the healthiest point for you to be able to do the color service so that means do your strengthening treatments, your uh, Olaplex bonding treatments, uh, also your hot oil treatments. Get your hair to the most healthiest point so you can achieve the color service you want. Okay, but so I said that was the last thing, but I lied. I lied. Coloring your hair is an expensive maintenance thing. By coloring your hair, it's not just color it in that's it no you also need to make sure you have the proper shampoo when it comes to coloring your hair that you are using you want to make sure you're using a gentle moisturizing shampoo you want to make sure you're using a, a gentle moisturizer conditioner you don't want nothing that enhance dryness uh, you also want to make sure you have the ability to go back to the salon in a couple of weeks or up to a month to get more treatments like your bonding treatments to keep the bonds intact. You want to make sure you're doing your deep conditioning every two weeks to keep your hair moisturized and healthy. You want to make sure you, uh, your stylist is paying attention to your ends to make sure your hair is healthy all the way to the ends because you do not want your ends to actually um, split and travel up the uh, shaft of the hair and become an issue. So a color and service is not a low maintenance type of thing. It is very high maintenance. So that is all I have to say about this topic. I hope you guys took some information from here and I hope this can help you narrow down. Is color something you want to do? Or if it is, I hope this helped you understand to please go to a professional. Do not do it at home because like I always say, doing chemical services at home, it can go wrong in so many ways. So thank you guys for watching this video and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.